Hey, it's Henry from ExceptionalMarketer.com and today we're going to be talking about the very first step that you have to do in order to build an exceptional personal brand. As a matter of fact, this first step is so crucial that without it, you will not build a good brand. You have to really make sure you do this and you got to do it right. So exactly what is personal branding and what do you need a personal brand for? What's the reason you should brand yourself anyway? Well, you need to have a personal brand in order to stand out and differentiate yourself from all your other affiliate competitors. If you see these two brands here, Amazon and Google, you know exactly who they are. You know exactly what they stand for. It's the same thing with you as an affiliate marketer. There are zillions of affiliates. Many of them, hundreds and thousands of them, could be promoting the exact same product that you're promoting at the same time you're promoting the product. So what do you think would make one of them, one of the customers, come to you as opposed to going to anybody else? You're just like anybody else. So you have to learn how to differentiate yourself. And by doing so, you need to distance yourself from the product-centric affiliates. Those are the affiliates who constantly focus on product, 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 buy my product, buy my product, buy my product. And the, the, and the product pushers, these are the guys who constantly hammer their lists, hammer their prospects, and you have to give your prospects a reason to buy from you. And you can do that through branding, but branding the proper way. Now, think about this for a minute. Every single asset your affiliate business has can be copied. You have landing pages. I can copy your landing pages. All I got to do is find your ad, click on it, and I'm on your landing page. I can copy it word for word. Your funnels, I got to opt in. I see your funnel. Your ad copy, I can read your ad copy. It's all over the internet. Your email sequence, sure. As soon as I go into opt into your, uh, to your uh, email uh, subscriber list, I'm going to get all your emails. I can copy your sequence word for word. Your website, it's not unique. I can find it on the internet. Your products, I can believe me, I can promote any product you're promoting. Anybody who's selling a product wants as many marketers, affiliates as they can find. That can be me as well as you. So you really own nothing. Your assets really are worthless if you look at it in this fashion. But you have one unique asset. This is a unique asset which can never be replicated. And that asset is simply you. You are unique. You have a unique personality. You have a unique way about yourself. You have a unique way of making people feel comfortable. You have a unique way of relating to people. If you can do that and brand yourself, th then you have a unique asset which can never be copied, can never be replicated, and can lead to huge success as an affiliate marketer. Your energy, your personality, and the values you promote are uniquely yours. Those things can never be replicated by anybody else. They're yours forever. Do you really believe that your prospects will keep coming back to you because of your cool landing page, your ad copy, or your funnels? Did you ever go back to somebody who promoted a, a particular product and say, I want to go back there and see this guy's next ad. I can't wait to see the ad he's putting out. No, you never do that. You know who you go back to? You go back to the people that you like. You go back to the people that you resonate with. For example, YouTube and different blog posts and even Facebook pages. Many of them have thousands upon thousands, even millions of subscribers. Why? Because they have a relationship with the guy doing the producing, with the guy putting out the content. It's extremely important. And, the, and because of that, he can be very successful. But all the other things that you have, they can be copied by anybody. They really have, when you think about it, they have very little value as a unique item. They can be copied by anybody. You have really nothing. But simply put, they'll come back to you because they resonate with you. You are the brand, not the product you're pushing. It can be any product, and I'm going to demonstrate that shortly. Makes no difference what the product is. You are as unique as your own fingerprint. And just like your fingerprint can't be copied, you can't be copied. And that's the asset you can build your business upon. You can have two affiliates promoting the exact same product 
with the exact same method and the exact same creative assets. They could be putting their ads in the same place. They can have the exact same ad copy. They can have the exact same banners and graphics and the same funnel. You're going to see one can be usually successful and one is an abysmal failure. Why do you think is it? What do you think is the difference? Why do you think one can sell hundreds of a particular product and one can barely sell one or two? The reason very simply is because the people that they're selling to resonate with them, but they don't resonate with the other guy. So what you have to do is build your magnetic persona. If you're an attractive person, you're not going to need to chase prospects. They're going to be attracted to you instead. Just like the guys on the, on the Facebook pages or the guys doing the videos on YouTube that have the million subscribers, they don't go out and beg for people. They publish a video and they got literally thousands and tens of thousands of views within the first hour because the people know what they expect for them. They trust them. They've gained authority. They've gained trust. And guess what? People flock to them. They don't have to chase people. You have to tell your story. This is how you brand yourself. You tell your story. Tell them who you are. Tell them where you started. Tell them how you got to the place where you are now. Your story does not have to be flawless. That's a mistake many people make. It makes you more relatable because we all have made mistakes. Look, we've all got burned by bad products. We've all, at least I sure have, gotten, bad, gotten burned by fake gurus who take your money and basically give you a bunch of broken promises that don't work. Tell your story. That's relatable. Everybody is flawed. So if you're flawed, you're like everybody else. You're not this perfect plastic person. That's how you become relatable to people. And that's how you get people to like you, to trust you, and to actually buy from you. Now, you can create your story in one of two different ways. This is extremely important because this is the underpinning of everything. So you have to tell your story. Now, you can tell it in one or two ways, and these two ways have been proven to really, really work well. You have the underdog method. The underdog method is the, is the hometown boy from the very humble background who now makes good, right? It's, it's how you got to where you are. It's what, what you overcame, what hurdles you overcame, and what mistakes you made. Don't make the mistake of thinking that, that you have to show that your ascension to success has been a flawless straight line because it never is. The most successful people you ever heard of have had many, many failures. The trick was they never gave up, and that's what made them successful. So you can be the underdog. That's one way to relate to people. The other way to relate to people is the us versus them. You've learned something that the gurus don't want the average guy to know about, and you're willing to give it to your folks. You're going to show them. You're going to lead them in the right fashion. It's something that it's a secret that only the very rich, the only the only the very successful affiliates know about it. And you're going to show it to them. You're going to give it to them so they can also become successful. Now, you also need to have clarity because this is an, also an underpinning of everything. Why are you here? What's your purpose? Why you, what are you trying to do? This should be the, the thought in the back of your mind every time you produce some type of content. What exactly are your goals? Do you want to help a lot of people become very, very wealthy and successful? Do you want to gain respect for yourself? Do you want to gain authority? Do you want to gain trust? Do you want to gain all of that? But these are the things that you have to be very clear about because it will come through in everything that you produce. All your content will show that. What are your values? This is extremely important that you have to let people know what your values are and where you stand. And you can be feel free <laughs> to be polarizing in your values. You don't have to toe the middle of the line on everything. Why? Because your goal is not to attract everybody. Everybody is not your customer. You only want to attract those people who resonate with your message. And I have to tell you a secret. You don't need many of those people to be very, very successful. There are programs, I know of them myself, where you can sign up one, two, three hundred people, and you can be making a huge income. 
because those programs pay very well and the people you need to sign up are just people who resonate with you it doesn't have to be everybody so feel free to state your opinion you do not have to be a middle of the road guy your ultimate goal in branding yourself is to be relatable to your prospects and make them feel comfortable being around you that's the whole key to everything and if you can do that you're going to gain the trust and you're going to gain the authority and you're going to gain the admiration you need to become successful the key is not in your list the list is is just an asset that you're going to use but the key is in the relationship with your list do not forget that word you need to build a relationship with your list because every affiliate marketer has a list but they don't always work well so that's a key that you have got to remember let me ask you this do you remember a company called empower network empower network had i believe just under 200,000 affiliates who were promoting that program it disappeared off the face of the earth the only people who actually remember empower network today are the people who lost money in empower network other than that it's a faded memory how about a company like mob do you remember mob international company you can make all kinds of money doing mob how about a company called high altitude that company and mob disappeared overnight the government basically closed them both down they were gone overnight disappeared now if you had been an affiliate and all you were known at is a guy pushing empower network buy empower network or mo buy mo or high altitude and you lost that company you could no longer promote that product where's your business your business is basically gone overnight but think about this if you've got a loyal tribe of people who know you who trust you who feel you're the authority you're the go-to guy that they want to go to for help and when you make a recommendation you're like their doctor making the recommendation nobody is going to ignore a doctor's advice when they feel bad because that's where they're going to get a cure that's what proper branding will do for you it makes no difference what product you're promoting your 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 members may not even know from day to day what product you're promoting what they know is you and that's the benefit of branding and that's branding yourself first and that's why you must do this first step properly in order to build a good brand so if you like what you've heard in this video please subscribe and push the bell notification button you'll be notified every time I produce another video also please comment please like the video that certainly helps and please comment if you got any comments I read them all I will respond to your comment and uh, that's basically it. So until next time, take care. I'll see you on the next video.